Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today guys, we are back here inside of Roblox Studio for our next part in the beginner 2 pro Roblox skip, uh, script tutorial over here guys. In this video today, we are going to be talking about if um, else if and else statements guys. So this is very closely followed along from last video where I talked about if statements guys. These are pretty much linked together perfectly um, and before I start anything off of here and talk all about this I first need to go in and tell you a little bit about rblxcodes.com which is my own Roblox code website where you can find out game codes, music codes and guides there is tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out overall we give a code for over 300 Roblox games so if you guys need a code for a game it will be there anyway guys yes let's just go ahead and go on into this video now so guys what exactly are else if and else statements guys well let me quickly add in the script over here um sorry guys that is what did i even add <laughs> i added a part let's add a script right now but i've done it again guys i've added a part okay third time lucky there we go guys we're gonna add a script right now okay so what even are else if and if statement um sorry guys else and elf else if statements well they um you know what let me first um actually make a variable over here so local number one um is equal to we'll put one and then local number two is equal to two um so pretty much guys what are these so you actually need these um th these go along with its if statements guys so if you do not have an if statement then you cannot use else or else if statements guys so we'll just do here here if number one is equal equal to number two um then we will print um same and pretty much guys so i showed you guys how to do this later on so um in the last video i showed that this is not going to work because they're not the same as you can see over here it's not going to print right now so how exactly do you make it so that it does print well guys we can actually simply do an else over here right now guys and then we can just simply do print different so um pretty much guys what what are else statements guys well they pretty much run if the it's if statement is not true so let me now run this guys it's going to say different as you can see over there guys so that's what else statements are um they are quite useful let's say um i'll give you guys an example of how how we could use these in the game let's say if um the player is on this um right okay let's say if the player is on this spawn location over here this part is gonna turn green and if the player is on this um else if they are not on that it's gonna turn red or something like that guys for example that's how you would kind of use them um i'm just talking about how you guys would use them if you guys get what i mean another um place where you guys could use them is let's say if the player is um running um then make the the run button blue else if they're not running then make it red if you guys get what i mean over there so that's kind of where you would use these else else statements guys however else ifs what exactly are these also guys while i'm doing this here if you do need any help from me you guys can always join my patreon on there i give one-to-one -one help to my patreon members guys and you can also download every single roblox studio file i have um i have showcased on the channel right okay guys anyway yeah so what exactly are else if statements well else if statements um can be um else if statements think about of having having extra ifs in the same thing so we can do else so that's kind of like the same as the other one so if this is not true then else means that it's going to do whatever what's here but this time it's going to do something else for if but it's it's going to like compare it again if you guys get what i mean so it's checking it again so we can do else if number one is equal is not equal to one we'll say um sorry guys i forgot the the them not equal to one then um we can print um not e equal one if you guys get what i mean um and then else we can print um yeah, one is print high or something like that that of that over here guys what we are doing here we are checking if number one is equal um to number two if they're the same no they're not so then it's going to go to this else statement over here if number one is not equal to number one then it's going to print not equal to one however guys number one is equal to number one so it's not going to do that and then else it's going to print high so if none of them are satisfied then they're going to go and print high as you can see over there however guys if i were let's say to print um le let's say if i were to do equal equal because number one um is equal to number one um then it's going to print not equal one but um don't don't uh, take note of that even though that's 
technically wrong what's printed guys but that's just an example to see how it runs if you guys get what i mean over here I, i'm sorry that if i have not really explained this too well guys um but it's kind of like self-explanatory i can't really explain it too much if you guys get what i mean but pretty much guys else if statements allow you to compare an extra thing in your like if category thing if you guys get what i mean over here um also you you can only add one else statement to an if thing so i can't actually add else again it will not work guys so if i quickly put else um over here guys it's not gonna work i, I can't add an, an extra else to an if statement guys however you can add as many else ifs as you want guys um so else if number one is equal to um let's just say two then and i can add another one here I, I can add multiple of these in this um in, in the script right now guys which is pretty cool so uh, do not worry about um if you have a lot of else ifs guys they're all gonna they're all gonna work however you can only have one else statement guys think about it as else is a last resort and else if it's checking if the if statement is not right then it's gonna check it again to see if it's right uh, if it's like true for something else if you guys get what i mean over here i think that's the best that i can explain else if and else statements guys they're just closely related with ifs and um else's of course i will be but we will be definitely using these a lot more in this series right now guys and on my channel you you do see them um used a lot over here so the more you use them guys of course the more you'll get the hang of them and the more you'll understand them guys but um that's pretty much all i can really talk about else if and else statements guys they're very very useful and you'll be using them a ton but that guys is going to be it for this video here i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out